so I've decided that I want to make the videos a little shorter. The last video we did was a little long. Uh, there are going to be some long videos. There's just no way around that. But uh, we're going to focus on a couple little things. This one today, we're going to talk about is just strictly customizing the dock. So this bar at the bottom. Now, we all know we can customize this, hopefully, by the fact that you know we can take an icon and drag it around, and that allows us to place it wherever we want. We can remove icons by simply dragging them off. Uh, we can add icons to it by grabbing new ones and putting them down here if we so choose. Uh, and this is a great way to make sure that this bar is storing the files that you and I use on a regular basis. We don't really need for this to show every app that we have. It kind of defeats its purpose. But over here in the corner, you'll see again, this is that divider line. And when you mouse your arrow over top of that, you'll see that it changes, right? Little little change right there. And for one, if you take that now and go up or down on your mouse or trackpad, up or down, you'll see the actual dock resizes, which can be kind of cool, right? So you can decide if you want this bigger or smaller. And for those of us that have, you know, bad eyesight, <coughs> having less icons here is good because the smaller the physical bar is, um, or the less amount of icons we have on the bar, the bigger we can make the icons. So if I have, you know, 50 apps on here, to make or to allow those 50 to show up, the bar physically has to be small. If I only have 6 or 10 icons in here, the bar allows it to get much larger. So first off, that's cool. Um, if you secondary click or right click on that bar now, you will see some extra options in regards to the actual dock itself. So we can do hiding. So right now the bar isn't hiding. So if I click on that, you'll see that the dock disappears. And to get the dock, you just simply bring your mouse down and the dock will appear. So it only comes up when you need it, which is kind of nice. It gives you a bit more screen real estate. If we come here, I'm going to turn that back on so it stays. Uh, we have turn magnification on. So magnification is really good for those of us that have, like I said, small docks. So if I make that smaller, and I turn that magnification on, you'll actually see that when I mouse over it, the icons get bigger, right? So if you do have to have a lot of icons on there, this can be beneficial, or again, if you just want your icons to show up bigger. I'm gonna turn that off, and again, make my bar bigger. <clears throat> Continuing on, position on screen. I like it at the bottom, but you do notice that you can put it onto the left, right? Which will put it over there. Um, you can put it on the, the, the right hand side. The only one that you can't put it on, of course, is the top because that is where your menu bar is sitting, which is good. You don't want to obstruct that. So I'm going to put this back in the bottom because that's just where I like it. Minimize using. And this one, honestly, you know, this is when you're minimizing files, I would leave it in the Genie effect. Uh, it's very hard to tell the difference between these two. So if you want to play around with it, you can, but it's hard to showcase that. And last but not least, you'll see something here called Dock Preferences. And again, if you click that, it'll actually open up your system preferences where you can see. Now, you'll see the majority of the preferences that were here are repeated here. It's just a little different with scroll bars and things like that. So if you want to actually have a little bit more customization, you can by simply going into here. Um, but I do recommend you guys you know, play with your dock, customize it to what you want it to be. And then once it's done, it's good. So uh, there you go, guys. There's a quick little tutorial on how to customize your dock, make it look the way you want. Uh, and we'll be back later. Um, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to try to be putting up more and more videos as, as frequently as possible. So subscribe, like, so that you guys can tell when new videos have been uploaded. And we will talk to you again later.